You don't go down. You don't go. You join us on a wonderfully sunny day to celebrate a monumental occasion in British royal history. Queen Elizabeth II was crowned on the 2nd of June 1953. She succeeded to the throne after the death of her father, King George VI, who died on the 6th of February 1952. She is the longest reigning British monarch and the second longest reigning European monarch, second only to King Louis XIV of France, who lasted for 72 years. The first British monarch to formally celebrate a jubilee was King George III in 1809. A silver jubilee is 25 years, a ruby is 40, gold is 50, diamond is 60 and of course a platinum is 70. The word jubilee is thought to come from the Hebrew word yobel, which meant a ram's horn used as a trumpet. Every 25 years, Roman Catholicism celebrates the year of the jubilee, and it has been that way since the year 1300. Queen Elizabeth is the longest reigning British monarch. Second is Queen Victoria, who lasted for 63 years. She has seen many pivotal moments of recent British history and served in the military in the Auxiliary Territorial Service during the Second World War. Today, red, white and blue adorns the streets of England and here at the Swinton Lock Activity Centre, we're here to celebrate this very important occasion with good food, good music and of course, good company. traditional English dessert, the sponge cake finds its origins back in the 1400s. However, the closest recipe we can find at the earliest date came from a recipe book called The English Housewife in 1615. The Victoria sponge of course gets its name from Queen Victoria. In the 1800s, with the advent of baking powder being added to the recipe, it was more widely consumed and Queen Victoria herself was apparently quite a lover of these sweet treats and others during her afternoon tea. Can't say I blame her.
us as a charity today has been amazing and I think it's demonstrated that as a community how desperate people have been to get back out and get together. Um, we've had just over 400 people through the gates. Um, I've been here eight years and that's the most we've ever had at an open day. Um, so we're just really looking forward to running the next one and you know all the profit that we've made today where people have bought food or paid for boat trips will go towards the work that we do which is working with vulnerable children and adults and also helping our food bank you know so it is going back into our community um, in a really really positive way and I'm proud to have been part of today it, it's been amazing.